Everywhere I look, Harley Quinn statues. Harley Quinn there, Harley Quinn over here. One, two, three. Hey guys, it's Paul the S.A. Badger. And if you don't know by now, I'm a huge Harley Quinn statue. So of course what we're gonna be doing today is Harley Quinn. But just like Bob said in La Bamba, not my first or my last. Stay tuned. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> <laughs> So let's start off with the box art here, real quick and simple. There's Harley Quinn right there in the front. And it's the same Joker pattern, I should say the haha -ha pattern on the sides here. And now this statue came out at the same time the Joker did, so it's no wonder why they made it very similar. They actually pair up together. I'll show you what that looks like. Back of the box, Harley Quinn. A little more ha-ha's. And the front of the box, at the end, there it is. Okay. This is number 160 of 1000, guys. So this is the exclusive. So yes, it does have that switch out head and the bat in the box. I'll be showing that to you right now. All right, guys, so here is Harley Quinn. This is actually Sideshows, if I'm not mistaken. They're not recent, but previous premium format. I think the most recent one is the Hell on Wheels Harley Quinn. In case you don't know, know why I didn't pick that one up, take a look at that one right there. That's right. Anyway, guys, I'm here and now. So here's Harley Quinn. All right. So let's start first start off with the base. Now, first, I guess, complaint, disappointment, whatever is that. Yes, it's like a carnival base or whatever the case may be. And there's light bulbs right here, part of the base, as you can see. I just wish they just lit up. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Not a real big deal, but that's my only gripe about it. Okay. The wood is sculpted, you know, it actually looks like weathered wood, and there's blue print on the base here, guys. I don't really know. I can't make it out. I don't know what it says. I don't know if it's supposed to make anything, but it looks like lettering of some type. As you can see here, there's dynamite, there's bombs all lit up, all ready to go. Very common thing we see in a lot of Harley Quinn and Joker statues. So, nothing new, just the base pair. Um, what I like about this, guys, is that on the back here, it's a barrel. I guess it could be some explosive too. Yeah, actually there's a wick right there lit. So this whole thing is ready to go, ready to blow. And we're gonna have some fun, dynamite, blow it up. Let's do it. Moving up to Harley herself, guys. Um, Let's just do her outfit, okay? So her boots are, you know, like wedged heels in a way, wedged boots actually, I have to say, and they have the diamond pattern on them. Kind of like um, a furry outline brim to them. Kind of like, I guess it was winter, but I don't know, just my observation. Real cute though, and I really love what they did, guys, what they what they did with here. Black on her outfit here is like a black mat. All the red is a glossy, I guess, give me a, oh yeah, it's an appearance of lion. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty badass. I love the contrast here, because instead of just making it all just vinyl, shiny, you know, glossy, you know, it gives that contrast, you know, you have the darks with the lights with the reds, and it really makes both those colors pop out. You know, I love that they didn't make it all glossy or all flat or matte. Okay, the stitching right here of her pattern, the, the diamonds, yeah, I mean, it looks like real stitching here of the latex material, but obviously it's not real latex. This is all sculpted, guys. Um, the belt, lots of Easter eggs here. You know, there's a rag right here. It's not really a rag, but if you know, you know. I'll explain to you, it's a piece of Robin's cape, okay? The yellow and the black, as you can see. And then we move on to these furry handcuffs and a little bit of green right there. I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be. A uh, nightstick, and the nightstick does move, guys, it does come out, okay? And of course, the bullet casing of the bullet holsters and a big satchel right there in the back, okay? Now moving up to the hammer. What I really like about this hammer, guys, is that unlike other Harley Quinn hammers, it's actually engraved with her pets, Bud and Luke. Okay, um, there's so many Harley Quinn engravings right here. And yeah, you can actually see the hyena's spaces carved out into, into the hammer, which is really cool. Lots of detail here. Okay. Now, the whites on her, I guess, gloves or whatever, guys, they're not a bright white. They're not clean, which is cool. They're kind of dirty, dingy. Um, so it gives that effect that, yeah, this isn't just brand new, you know, we're here in battle, we're here kicking some ass. 
We're starting the battle, that's why I still look clean, but yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit dirty, okay? Cool attention to each other. Now, moving up to the portrait, guys. When I displayed this statue, guys, I had a very difficult time. Who should I pick? Should I pick Hoodless or with the hood? Obviously, why I went with the hood here, just because, you know, Harley Quinn, classic, original, OG look. But we have a little bit of um, sideshow spice added to it, where her suit is in this long sleeve. They actually cut out the sleeves and, you know, gave her these long sleeves instead of the whole bodysuit, which is kind of like the, the, no, the more recent DC movies, especially if I remember correctly, the attack on Arkham, she kind of has a similar suit like this where it's sleeveless, but she has like, it's sleeveless, but she does have sleeves or long gloves, whatever you want to call them, on her. Pretty good detail, but I really love that they did that, along with it, you know, kind of give their own twist to it, their own taste, flavor. Can always appreciate that. Anyway guys, so moving on to our portrait again. I went with this one just because, you know, OG Harley. And, but you can never go wrong with the other portrait. Let me show that to you, okay? Now the cool thing about this statue, guys, is that the two portraits, either or, they're standard. So, yeah, they are standard and you get both of them. Which, I've always been a big advocate of Sideshow doing that, guys. I would never really like the whole exclusive and non-exclusive method that they have. Maybe they're gonna come out of a statue, come out with a statue, put everything in it, and sell it like that. None of this exclusive and non-exclusive. But anyway, that's either here nor there. Here's the headless, headless. <laughs> here is the hoodless portrait guys. Absolutely love it too. She has her both her ponytails, and I love that they keep her with that classic look, obviously. So her hair is all blonde. The tips aren't blue, the tips aren't pink, it's all blonde. Okay, the only thing that gives it, it gives kind of a distinction there is her pink tail ties. The ties, one's red, one's black. Okay. I really love that portrait, guys, because she's pouting, so she looks like she's sad, but at the same time, her eyes are mad, so it's kind of like a... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I really do, do love this portrait, and honestly, guys, I could have gone either way, but like I said, classic Carly, just wanted to keep it. So yeah, there you go, a little comparison right there. You just want to two head skulls right there? All right, guys, so last thing, exclusive. The exclusive just this proximity piece, the bat in the box, you know, it doesn't move, it's all just one piece. There it is. Okay. I'll give you a close-up of it right But to describe it, guys, it's just, you know, a little plushy, not really plushy, somewhat, of a Batman on a spring, Jack in the box, you know, just popped out, and he's just standing there with his mouth, I guess, pouting. Kind of like the same, same uh, portrait here as Hardy Quinn. But he does have the, the little collar with the jester bells all over it. Overall, guys, this is actually a pretty badass statue. Best statue, Harley Quinn? Absolutely, uh, absolutely not. Okay, it is good. Um, as far as being able to display her, she can go with anyone, anywhere. She's a quarter scale. And actually, you know what? She came out paired up with the Joker. Let me get him out, put him together, show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so here is the setup. Here is the Joker Harley fam here. Again, like I said, this is a previous um, premium format Joker Harley. They came out as a set, okay? And but a new here in the middle. You know, they're, um, these two are one quarter scales and this guy, these guys are one six. But as you can see, guys, they kind of match up. Not too much, I mean, you can tell, but it's whatever. Anyway, guys, just a side note, this is kind of like a bittersweet moment for me. Reason being, guys, is because I'm packing these two guys up, or actually all three of them up, okay? And you know, I've, I've had them display for a very long time, and just trying to pack them up and not make, not get rid of them. They're just gonna be in storage. Um, but yeah, I just gotta make room for other statues coming in, guys. You know, some that I've been having seen for a long time. You know, I just, um, these guys have been displayed for a very long time. They've had their turn, and I really love them. But yeah, just bittersweet for me, guys, and um, like I said, I never get rid of my statues. They're just gonna be packed up, put away for a little bit. And who knows, maybe I'll be, well not, maybe. I'll definitely be busting them out in the future. I just don't know where. Again, I just like to wanna be rotating my statues, guys. I never sell them, but obviously I can't. I don't have all the room in the world. Pretty sure you can empathize with that, sympathize with that. 
But yeah, I mean, again, they're gonna be putting away, and I'm uh, pretty sure you've seen them plenty of times in my intros. But yeah, I mean, that space where they take up, guys, is gonna be occupied, I don't know by who just yet, but yeah, it's gonna be, they're gonna be occupied. But yeah, anyway, guys, don't wanna divert, diverse too much anymore. But um, I hope you liked this video, guys. You know, definitely, if you did, leave that comment, like, subscribe, share with anybody who you know might like this. As always, Collective makes you happy.